Hi, everybody. This is Donnie Vaughn of the Marketing Twins. You can find us at marketingtwins.com or facebook.com slash marketingtwins. Hey, just a real quick a little uh, tutorial that I wanted to do um, on this new Facebook format. This middle section here, a lot of people are, are, are a little frustrated that what they really want to know is over here in this ticker area. They call it a ticker now because it's real-time stuff. All the stuff that you he, see here is happening as we talk here. And in fact, as we talk here, this will continue to move. This here is somewhat of the synopsis. See that it just moved there. Uh, and then every so often you'll see up here it says seven new stories or something to that effect. And it'll jump. You could click on that and it'll jump down, you know, this. And, you know, this is nice, but it's, you know, eight minutes ago. And Grant posted something eight minutes ago. I'm ready to see something real time. And so if you want to know something real time, you have to follow here on the ticker, but this little area is kind of small. I don't like this little menu. This little scroll bar is too small for me, but I can make it work. But how can I make this area bigger? That's what I told somebody. I said, I wish this area here was moved over in this big area, and this area was moved over there. I wish they would reverse it, and maybe they will. But until that time, I've got a little trick for you. See if it works with you. Over here, this chat. A uh, long time ago, I turned my chat off because I... I got tired of people trying to chat with me while I was doing stuff and especially with people that I didn't know real well and I just didn't want to do it. So I just got offline and just have left it there. So what you do is if you click this chat, watch what happens to the ticker. It kind of attaches itself on top of the chat. Oh, there it goes. Now, I could chat with these folks here, but if I wanted to come right up here, see this little bar? That little bar with those double arrows. If I take that and I slide this down all the way, it opened up my ticker area. Now this will usually have to kind of refresh. Yeah, I see my little hourglass comes up there. But you can see there on the right hand side, uh, starting up here with Judy all the way down to Scott, that ticker bar is now twice as big as it was when it sat over here. Now again, it, it just takes a little while to kind of refresh. There we go. Now I still have the little small scroll bar. I, I wish it would be bigger than it actually is, but that's okay. I can make that work. But if nothing else, it gives me a bigger area to see more real-time stuff and if you haven't figured this out the real-time stuff is you know you hover over a thing and then it gets you right into where you can make you know if, if Trey commented here and I wanted to comment I could I'm kind of doing it too quickly hover over it get kind of messed up there but then I can comment directly into that same thing I can go over here I can just comment directly in here um, here's something Grant posted, Mari's posted, etc. So anyway, that just gives you a little bit larger ticket area if that helps you out. Okay, thanks.